Imrabedini.com, Learning BSD with Mohamed Abedini. Hi everybody, my name is Mohamed Abedini. I'm from Imrabedini.com. In this video, I'm talking about how can you capture remote system packet with SSH to show in the Wireshark. The Wireshark the best tools to view live capture, save capture, open the save it capture file and other things. In this section you need to run three steps to view the remote system packet in Wireshark. First step you need to run to make a pipe file. Pipe file can use for redirect the input or output traffic right output traffic or TCP dump to the pipe file and other process can read the pipe file. To make the pipe file you need to run the mk5 of command. mk5 of command make a pipe file. Step 2 run the Wireshark to load a pipe file in the interface and waiting to redirect the packet to the pipe file. The 3 step log on to the remote system as the root users run the TCP dump and redirect all packeted in the remote system to the local pipe file ok uh, let's go to my previous server and show how can use uh, this tutorial to remote capture system packet with Wireshark and SSH. Okay, I have two machines. One in FreeBSD make to install XFSC environment desktop, install the Wireshark and other system. FreeBSD setting the SSH root user allow and upload public key to make their SSH connection. In these machines I'm run mk 5 to make the pipe file in the temp directory. Pipe file name is mabdini run the Wireshark Run the Wireshark with switch dash K and dash R and open the temp pi file and go to the background switch and sign. My Wireshark is open and waiting for captured data. Okay. I'm run a other terminal and run the SSH connection to the remote system. I run the SSH root, uh, root user to the remote IP address and then run the TCP dump with EMS real interface and redirect all traffic to the mabdini pipe file. Ok, you see any traffic in the remote system can be shown the local system with Wireshark and go to the FreeBSD systems, make a ping traffic and in the local system I can use to see the packet you can see packet to display and I can stop, save, capture and other things with Wireshark and SSH. I hope you this video can help you to make the better understanding of network and use the Wireshark in your network for remote user and use the SSH traffic, the encrypted traffic to capture the remote packet and use this tutorial.